Hello, this is Adam Rayner for Talk Audio TV, and well, here's a nice plug for the Holiday Inn chain, lovely comfy hotels. Who, well, this is one that this man here, this is Steve Bennett, has stayed in many times. Um, we changed plans four times this morning in the rain, this Monday in London, um, and have driven to go and find. The thing is, this is about a new jail audio woofer called the, uh, the well, in this case, the 10 TW1. Um, and the real issue with this is that they've all been sold. Right? They've just arrived, they've gone, like grass through a goose is the expression. Um, meanwhile, talking about like grass through a goose, this, this is why we're all sitting there, because it's take one, and the only one we have any time for, because um, Steve Sand, you're on the way from, where have you been? Oh, I've gone through, um, I've gone through, through here, really. Um, and where are you from to in, in, within the hour, you have to be at the airport. Where are you? Within the hour, I have to be back yeah. to fly home to Miami. To Miami? Yeah. And right now, the weather here is cold and wet in a way that people in Miami probably couldn't even imagine. And Chris has been bragging about how you've had no rain and it's been beautiful weather. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really been, proving it's the point. Been <laughs> anyway, enough of that. This is the, the TW1. Tell us about the TW1. I'll wave this at the camera so folks can see it. It, it comes with a grill, which can be right, removed. Right, does come with the grill. But that's a bit of a pain in the neck and um, <laughs> isn't really the issue. But I'll get my corporate... Corpulent, corporate self out of video shot <laughs> and show you guys this. Well, tell us a bit about this thing, sir. Well, it's uh, part of the thin line of woofers that we've been doing since the 13 TW5 came out a number of years back. Uh -huh. And then we came out, of course, with the TW3. So, logically, now the TW1 comes in as our least expensive, more shallow woofer. Uh, I know, Chris, you love the term thin woofer. Uh, and, uh, a lot of reason for his concern on that is it's been banned, all right. For good reason. It, it implies that there's a lack of performance, and anyone that's got a chance to hear any of the other TW lines of woofers uh, knows that that's far from the truth. Just cover your faces, that's how so you can see this thing. Oh, yeah, there is, there's a moment in that video of the other product where um, you can actually, it's quite funny because you can see this, there's this spasm of annoyance <laughs> across this man's face. It's funny on more than one level, but. Which so is, this is still quite a chunky product. I mean, yeah, that's it is. A... yeah, it's all um, obviously designed by us, and we're building that down in Florida, actually, uh -huh. which is really exciting wow. for us. Um, I've, I've, I've even seen that. It. <laughs> yes. What's interesting about it is yeah. when you look at the actual depth from whether it mounts to the back of the speaker, it doesn't look all that shallow. So people wonder, is it really a TW? Well, the truth is, if you look at the front profile where the grill protrudes, that's it. So it's incredibly shallow on the front side of it. This allows yes. you to actually like, get it right up against the seat or underneath the bottom of the seat. So you don't have to worry about building uh, an area in front of it to allow for the excursion capability of the driver like you do on a TW3. Now, having been and seen how you guys deal with your marine product mm -hmm. and housing that within housing, has any of that R&D informed the development of this product? Uh, you're talking about how it's recessed yes. in? Yeah, actually, that's an excellent point. Well, the surround is, it's difficult to see with the grill, but the whole platform is shifted inside the frame. So, uh, yeah, maybe you get a good shot. I don't know, I'm a little struggle. Uh, uh, during the strain, I look at the pain in my face, might be amusing for the years. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, crazy. one of the concerns that we've seen is that a lot of people have been building panels right up against the front of the TW3 and yes. they start slamming into the back of the seat. They don't want yes. to use a grill. So, you know, they keep complaining that there's a problem with the surround, and it's not. It's, it's, in, it's in the fit. So with proximity <laughs> and excursion. Down. So, like you were saying, that this yes. is actually the, the contact for the surround normally is towards the front of the speaker. This we've recessed it in, so you can actually get the speaker right up against the seat. And when it comes to box volume, you know, this particular one yes. is the smallest recommendation of any tenant tour for the companies that we produce. Really? So, but, um, I've, I've seen people on our saying it's actually smaller than the packaging it came in. It's How many? about the size of the box, actually. Yes, that's <laughs> I've just I've suddenly got this image of a very large amount of effort and work and clear resin. And that you got that straight to the grave, it's not different. You can see this, can't you? There's an enclosure, an enormously thick enormously thick sort of plexi. Yes. And that's a note six. No, that's the, uh, the iPhone measurement. Sorry, I'm just being up to the moment. What is really interesting to me also is, that it, am I right that there is a monstrously big voice coil? On yeah, there, it, it is, especially for a speaker that's so you know compact. So, so. how big are we talking? We're like like that? You know, it's a four inch. Oh, you're talking the, the, height, the, height, diameter, height. the diameter of the voice coil. No, no, so, the diameter is really normal. Gosh, gotcha, yeah, that's about high. the suspension yeah. I'm blithering on about. Then there is a very, very long yeah. distance between the top and bottom spider there. That's uh, it's about linearity of travel. What sort of power rating is this product? Sir? I'm so bad at that. 300. Yeah, 300 is what we call it. Yes. I usually just recommend like uh, two to 300 watts on, on this speaker like this. So I'm glad we ran it at 300 watts. Well, that is something in any case of doing you know, the JL Audio um, power handling chart is more of a sort of uh, a, a red, slightly amber, green type type rating, as in, yes, if you really, you know, it's about life of things. 
and knowing how authors write, which JL absolutely know their stuff, so um, there it is, the uh, patented thin line technology of the, uh, the brand new JL TW1. This is the 10 inches, is there a 12 as well? There is, um, and also if you want to map them in dual configurations, one of the designs of the product here, you see this flat edge, uh, it's called tab ear. You can get the two drivers really close together. So, right so, up, so you don't have to worry about it. You've got yes. a lot of height, space. And how many, get how many people have ground a chassis going, oh, la, 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 I'm not really doing this. But this is actually designed so you can snag them up. Driver, what about my thumb distance apart between your next one? Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's not a lot. Yes, you, you know, know I can worry about the marine. integrity of the baffle than you do about the woofer. In fact, the enclosure really for, for two tens would yeah. be two of these side by side. Really? So the actual box it comes in, yes. please don't mount it in the box. <laughs> yes. you know, build a box this size, um, but put another one next door to it. Yes. That's what the enclosure volume you'll take up with one with two tens. And just because obviously you know prices are different in different territories, and I have worldwide viewers. Um, this is aimed at being more affordable than the it current. Is. Yep. Uh, it's 175 for the 10 TDB1. This is a British 199, pound. Yes. 199 for the 12. So by no means a budget product, but a whole load less than the uh, yeah, the equivalent the Mad TW. Sorry, yeah, you go up into so the TW3, yes. you're up at 275, 290. So it's quite a big difference in price. This is one hell of a chunk of engineering. Yeah, Audio. The team did a hell of a job on that one. TW1 series. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thanks ever so much, and a uh, huge thanks to Mr. Chris Bennett and uh, Mrs. Steve Teresi. And a big thank you to John Cleese in <laughs> Reading. Oh, yes, John Cleese, John thanks, Cleese guys. in Reading. I'll see you next time. Although there might be that for allowing us sort of uh, uh, contraindication as he's the only man who didn't sell every single one he got sent. <laughs> <laughs> Although he <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cheers.